Rooting and sucking are primal reflexes in a baby. In fact, the fetus swallows amniotic fluid before birth. Point one, the instinctive process of swallowing is amazing. It begins when a force of fluid, mainly from movements of the tongue, is sensed at the back of the throat in the oropharynx. The nasopharynx, or the part of the pharynx connected to the nasal passages, closes off with the motion of the soft palate and tightening of the muscles of the pharynx. Breathing is momentarily suppressed, and tightening of the laryngeal muscles shuts off the glottis and raises the larynx at the same time. Nutritive sucking. With breastfeeding, following a milk ejection, let down reflex, a fully sufficient amount of breast milk is available in the area just under the areola, which drains out through the nipple. Each suck is followed by a swallow. This pattern repeats quickly and continuously as long as milk is immediately available and the baby is hungry, about one suck per second point two we call this nutritive sucking there is high milk flow during this period of frequent swallowing non-nutritive sucking many moms refer to non-nutritive sucking as using me as a pacifier this kind of sucking is the sequence that occurs when fluid is not introduced into the baby's mouth non-nutritive sucking may occur in a few different instances at the end of a feeding between nutritive sucks when the baby is at the breast and the lactiferous sinuses aren't full. Different than nutritive sucking, the pattern does not repeat quickly and continuously, but rather slowly and with longer periods of rest point two during this period. The baby needs many sucks to collect an adequate amount of milk to activate a swallow. In effect, very little swallowing is happening. Flow rate. Another important variable that comes into play here is flow rate, or how quickly milk comes out, which affects how quickly the baby will suck and swallow. Point three, the faster the milk flows, the faster the baby will suck and swallow. In bottle feeding, flow rates are generally very consistent, in breastfeeding, they are extremely inconsistent. Before and between milk ejections, and at the end of feedings, the flow rate is very low. However, during the first and subsequent milk ejections, the flow rates are very high. So, Different than on the bottle, babies who are breastfeeding will typically have both nutritive and non-nutritive sucking, 